The DAL E3 image generator is now coming to ChatGPT. It's one of the coolest AI papers this week. Roblox just integrated this new AI tool. Here is Chat Journey. AI text to textiles are just mind blowing. The DAL E3 image generator is now coming to ChatGPT. They tweeted out this video today. My five-year-old keeps talking about a super duper sunflower hedgehog. What does it look like? And just like that, you get four sunflower <laughs> hedgehogs. My daughter says its name is Larry. Can I see more like this? Uh, can you show me Larry's house? So super cute right there. So cute. What makes him so super duper cute? He's Hearted, so here they use ChatGPT here. Uh, can you show him being kind-hearted? Really awesome. Could you design some stickers? Wow. Actually, the quality looks really good. Here is actually producing a story. I love this. Can I see Larry at the end when he's happily dreaming? And now they're obviously making the illustration right there in ChatGPT. That's a huge update. Dr. Jim Fan said, I think Dolly 3 is not just a stance against Mid Journey, it's actually a sneak peek of the upcoming epic battle of massively multimodal LLMs against DeepMind Gemini. Quote, Dolly 3 is built natively on ChatGPT. This is the key phrase. Dolly 3's extraordinary language alignment is built on a solid textual GPT foundation. Mid Journey doesn't have that much reasoning brain, which is why so much prompt hacking is needed. As you can see on this image, there are four different prompts that make up this entire image, which with a large language model's mind, it can actually help the entire output. Brain first, pixel second, that's the way to build a strong multimodal AI. It's one of the coolest AI papers this week. It allows you to input a still picture and then have a seamless looping video or interactive dynamics. As you can see, He's dragging the image down to the right and it bounces back just like that. You can see this happening on a branch, on socks hanging on a clothing line, the fire lit candles, even post-it notes, which is a huge win for AI video generation. As you can see on the interactive dynamics, you can kind of pull them to the side and then it snaps back, looping again and again to create that motion. I hope the next step will be that they can make my grandma's photos wink at me. New AI text to 3D model is here. This is called NV Dream, a multi-view diffusion model that is able to generate geometrically consistent multi-view images from a given text prompt. By leveraging image diffusion models pre-trained on a large scale web data set, and a multi-view data set rendered from 3D assets, the resulting image becomes a lot more clear because of these two training data sets. If you know how hard 3D modeling is traditionally, you know that this is a huge game changer for anybody creating 3D assets. If you're making content, AI can help you make it faster, easier, and better. That's where today's sponsor comes in, HubSpot. They are giving away a free ebook using generative AI to scale your content operations that you can download now. As content creators, we have to spend a lot of time making content. The old way of content creation is coming up with everything yourself, while content creation with AI helps you a lot with brainstorming and actually generating unique and valuable ideas that they're going to show you in this ebook all the way to testing ads and landing page variation and lead nurturing sequences and sales outreach. If you haven't yet automated any of these AI processes in your business, you're missing out big time. So click the link in the description down below to get HubSpot's free ebook. Thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this section of the video. Here's the top of the week from the ChatGPT subreddit. Wait, actually, yes. User asks, is 415 90% of 500? ChatGPT says, no, 450 is not 90% of 500. To find 90% of 500, you can multiply 500 by 09, which gives you 450. Wait. Actually, yes, 450 is 90% of 500. 
My apologies for the confusion. The new bard is actually insanely useful. Redditor writes, this may be an unpopular post in this community, but I think some sobering honesty is good once in a while. The new bard update today brings essentially plugins for all Google apps like Workspace and other Google apps. For someone like myself, I use a ton of Google products and having bard integrate seamlessly with all of them is a game changer. By example, I can now just ask it to give me a summary of my emails or get it to edit a Google Docs and it's a conversation. I know this type of functionality will be coming to ChatGPT soon enough, but for the time being, I have to tip my hat to Google. The rollout of their plugins, or they call it extensions, is very well done. I actually haven't tested it myself yet. This commenter says, I'm personally a huge fan and honestly glad for the pressure this will put on OpenAI to think more outside the box than these other companies to stay ahead. This Redditor says, based on your post, I tested it. Not quite there. I asked it to find me an email with an appointment for this Saturday. Couldn't find it. Asked it again with more details. It gave a summarized and translated version of the email. Good enough, but when I asked it to link me the actual email, it couldn't do that. So while it can do searches, it doesn't seem very useful at the moment. I'm more on this side. I haven't been that impressed by AI Google products, but if you'd like me to check out Bard, comment down below Bard and maybe I'll check it out. They just revealed a new AI chatbot called Roblox Assistant, allowing creators to build virtual worlds by just typing prompts. What's even more fascinating is that over 43% of Roblox users are under the age of 13. The next gen of builders will be learning how to talk with AI at a very young age. Incredible to see Roblox taking this new technology into their game. Stability AI launches Music Generator. Here's the website. They have like a trans Ibiza beach sun. Okay, not bad. That's actually good. Let's try it out. Let's use the text prompt, boom bap hip hop vinyl. 45 seconds, let's go. Okay, let's listen. Okay, not bad. Not exactly what I was thinking about, but just gonna try to prompt a little bit more. Let's see. With the basic plan, you can get 45 seconds and the pro plan, you can get one minute 30. Since this is by Stability AI, they probably have a API that you can tap into as well. Let's see another example. I'm not sure about that. Let's try a solo blues guitar riff. Style of John Mayer. Let's listen. The tool itself gets a five out of 10. Here is chat journey. As you can see, you can type a mid journey type prompt like 60s style minimalistic portraits. And just like that, in the chat interface, the second one looks good. Can you upscale it? You can upscale it right there in the chat. So you don't have to go through Discord. Wow, it looks even better close up. Can you change the color of her shirt to teal? Just like that, the shirt is now teal, right? Looks great. Can you post it to X in a way that aligns with the weekly theme? Of course, it looks like this. Just like that, you can post it directly to Twitter or X. Pretty incredible. So a pretty new innovative way of using a chatbot there. Now he didn't make this, it's not a real app, but hey, maybe somebody will use it. Here is an AI update to Amazon's Alexa. So let me take you back in time to 2014 when we introduced Alexa. People were blown away with the quality of the voice, as was I. But this is how it sounded, so let's take a look. I love the Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. It depicts the view from his asylum room at St. Remy de Provence just before sunrise with the addition of an imaginary village. I like this painting because its vibrant use of colors captures a profound emotional intensity. You already heard from Dave how Alexa sounds today, but here's the preview of what's gonna come early next year. I love the Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. It depicts the view from his asylum room at Saint-Rémy-de-Provence just before sunrise, with the addition of an imaginary village. 
I like this painting because its vibrant use of colors captures a profound emotional intensity. Sure, the voice is better, but give us some new use cases. AI text to textiles are just mind blowing. Look, this tool is called Fabricator and you can basically enter a prompt how you want the fabric to be and the mesh. And just like that, you can have the normal map, the roughness map, height map, all in the software to get downloaded and used on your VFX. Here is another example with crazy texture where you can change the HDRI and the brightness and shininess of the object will get seen in all these different spaces. And not only on shiny items, but also this textured kind of furry looking thing. <laughs> I mean, it just looks so realistic. You can change it right there in the software itself. Even just changing the scale of the texture itself. This is a huge change to the VFX artists and the game creators out there. So you just saw some new cool AI news. Pretty cool, right? Nothing scary this week. We're still okay. If you want to talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to the Patreon down below. Also join the community. If you want to keep watching, click the next video now. All right, that's it. Peace.